You've seen cool 3D covers like this, but if you never made one yourself, that changes today. We're gonna start from nothing and in minutes you'll have a pro looking cover art that looks like it belongs on the Spotify top charts. And it's all done in Blender so it's highly customizable as well. So let's go. Starting with the world setup, for the first step press shift A and add a plane and this will act as a background so just rotate it to be in front of a camera. I've turned on the render view here and for the lighting we're gonna just use one SDRI that will be our main source of lighting. So just go to Polyhaven and download any sky texture that you like. I have the shader editor with the world setting open here already and I'm gonna press Ctrl T to add all these nodes. Just make sure the node wrangler add-on is turned on to use the shortcut. And after that, you can add the STRI here. As you can see, the STRI is added to the environment. I'm using the main inspiration from this artist here with their cool and vibrant artwork. So please check their work out. And now we can get started with the material and object. So let's add a new material for our background and change the color to be a vibrant orange or any other color that you like. Increase the metallic to be full and adjust the roughness as you like. For the objects, I'm gonna be using the skull pack here and this gun from CG Trader so you can get those as well. I've already imported the skull here so let's give it a new material, change the name to be skull material and for this one I'm gonna change the color to be pure black, drop the roughness a bit and as you can see it's already catching some reflection from the sky. Going to the camera view, I'm gonna adjust it to be facing perfectly towards the camera. Now look closely here, I'm bringing the plane closer towards the skull so it catches some more of the orange reflection that'll make it look more realistic and cool. Also we can press double R to rotate the plane so just play around with that and experiment creating some new reflections and lighting. After that we can go to the background and increase the strength a bit so the lighting is much more visible. Also add a hue and saturation node here as well. This will help us in controlling the color and increasing the saturation. So increase the saturation a bit as the sky color will be easily visible and changing the hue a little to make it light blue. Also another thing to experiment with is the roughness of our background. More roughness adds a bit of shadow from the skull and less roughness creates a nice reflection. So you can play around with this setting as well. Once you're happy with that, you can import the gun model here and using it to fill up our composition and make it look more interesting. I'm just putting it in all four of the corners to make it look cool and pressing all D to duplicate it. Even if you think it's done, the last 2% makes the biggest difference. So the first thing that we're gonna look at is compositor setting. I have this glare node set up here already and this will add nice glow to our cover art. The first clear node I've set it to simple star and it's adding this nice star reflection. The second one I've set it to bloom and it's adding this nice glowing reflection as well. Now we can press double R again to rotate the plane to catch some nice glowing reflections. For the next thing we're gonna go to the object setting. In the visibility tab you can turn off the shadow to create a cleaner composition. Also we can turn off gloss hair as well so it doesn't get reflected on the skull. So if you like that you can change both of these settings accordingly. Next we can get started with text and titles. So to add text press shift A and add a text. We can edit it by pressing the tab key and change it to any text that you like. And here I'm just gonna speed up the process of adjusting it in front of the skull. Going to the text setting, we can add some extrude to it as well so it looks more 3D and add some depth to it. And also add some bevel and change the font to something cool. Now you can see there is some space between the letters. To fix that, just go to the letter in edit mode and press alt, left or right key to change the kerning. Now we can go to the render view and create some different styles for our text. So just add a material to the text and just play around with all the setting. I'm increasing the metallic to be full and changing the color to be a bit gray and decreasing the roughness will add this nice glow to the text as well. Now we can create any amount of variation. Here I'm changing the color for the background but as you can see the sky is still the different color. To change it just go back to the hue setting that we added earlier and we can match the sky color to our background here. So just play around with all these settings to create some different and cool results. And this is how the final artwork looks like. Hope this helps spark some ideas and I've got a whole playlist pack with more stuff like this. So check it out and thanks for watching.